I'm thinking he thinks that England are getting beat by Italy in Rome, Andrew. Not a chance, boys. I think England will be too strong on um, I think. On Saturday, he, see, he, he said, I, I think. think. I think he they've thinks. got too many... I think they've got... Uh, I'm sure they've got too many good players in form at the minute, England. You look at the way Northampton are playing, you look at the way Quinns are playing, you look at the way um, those players are in form. And I think with in amongst some real, real experience, guys who've been there, done it, won the competition, worn the T-shirt many, many times. I, th- I think that they'll be a bit too strong for Italy on, on Saturday. And Andrew, does that change your mind from the weekend of anything you've seen that he doesn't go with Marcus Smith and goes with Finn Smith? No, not at all. I think Marcus Smith starts. The big decision, I think, for him is at scrum half, um, who he pairs with Marcus Smith at 10. Does he go with his mate, Danny Kerr, his club mate, know each other really well? Then you've got the axis at number eight as well. Does he pick Don Brandt there? So you've got that cohesion together. Um, because I think I'm, I'm quite excited about England. I've been over the World Cup. Yes, we finished third, but everyone kind of hated the way we played. You know, I, I dread to think what the Welsh or the Scots thought of England finishing third in the World Cup because a lot of the English fans were quite dejected around how we played. Um, and I'm actually loving Jamie George's captain who's come out and he said they want to reconnect with the fans. They want to play a brand of rugby that excites people and puts smiles on faces. And we've heard these cliches before, but when you hear it from Jamie George and knowing how bad it got during the World Cup with England just kicking the ball the whole time and trying to progress in the tournament that way, I'm quite excited about seeing how this New England team, and like Big said, some of the players at Northampton, likes of Tommy Freeman, um, you know, Henry Slade's on form, Marcus Smith's on form. We've got exciting players, right? Um, it's how Steve deploys them and how Steve sets the team up to play because since he's taken over, we've only ever seen a box kicking, kick chase, put pressure on them team. But now we've, he's got the tools at his disposal to play a brand of rugby at a pace if we can bring it together collectively to excite fans. And I'm not saying we're going to compete and win the Six Nations necessarily, but it's certainly hopefully going to be a step up from what we've seen over previous Six Nations where England have been pretty dour to watch if we're being honest. Goody, if you're if you're Steve, would you if if he's going to play the same way as he did in the World Cup, do you pick all these players for Quinns and for um, Northampton and things like that, or do you go with players who can execute that game plan? Because because if you if you're asking if if you're asking you know Danny Kerr, Marcus Smith, Finn Smith, Alex Mitchell, these types of guys to go and execute a game plan, which which probably isn't what they're used to. It's very diff- it's it's very difficult for them, isn't it? Do you then go and say, right, well, George Ford is our man at ten, and and you pick who you think at nine? Then yeah, I mean, my point on it is repeating what you said that around. You play to your strengths. Now, there's no point in picking all those players you mentioned there and saying, right, lads, box kit, get after it. We're not going to play any rugby because that's not their strength. Um, George Ford to me hasn't played. He's been injured. Uh, he's, I think he's played one or two games. He's not played that well. Um, and this is time to really energise and freshen up this England team and, and actually say, do you know what? We've got the perfect start to the tournament because we've got Italy away and we've got Wales at home. And Wales have got their most inexperienced team. And I'm not belittling Wales at all. But if you're an England fan, no, no. you, you want to see exciting rugby. And there's no better teams to do it against as the first two than Italy away and then... Wales at home. So I, I think he's, I've been beating the drum about it. He's got to evolve now. Yes, we had that plan and he, he used the narrative around, you know, they haven't had a lot of time together as a coaching team, um, you know, since they took over after Eddie Jones got sacked. So they went back to basics, box kicked, set piece, strong kicking game, you know, defence and put pressure on the opposition to try and win games. And it worked to an extent, right? We nearly beat South Africa in the rain. But that's what I mean. On that, Goody, you know, like like with that, as you're talking about it and we're talking about it, like it nearly got them to a final, right? As in the way they played against South Africa. And this is the crazy thing, isn't it? Because... If you go based on the World Cup, and I was at a few of the games and the energy in the stadium, the fans were booing, but actually they stuck to their guns, they've done it. Why would they want to reinvent something? I say reinvent, but go from, right, this is the way that we're going to play. And because the fans are saying that we shouldn't play that way, that all of a sudden they snap out of it and say, right, we're going to play this fast brand of rugby. And Jamie George says that he wants they want to excite the fans, like they want to evolve. So is that them saying that the way that they played wasn't the way that they want to play or them understanding that 
the Twickenham crowd, which we saw as well in the Autumn Nation series as well, they were getting booed out of the stadium and the way that they were playing. Do you think that's Jamie as captain now, understanding that that isn't one selling brand England? Or do you think he's genuinely thinking, right, we need to play a different style of rugby if we want to win the Grand Slam or want to win the Six Nations? Yeah, I mean, you look at the successful teams over the last few years, it's Ireland and France, right? And they've got a balance to their game of... Yes, being able to play a pressure game, but also attacking and having layers of attack and shapes that England, we haven't really seen, if we're being honest. Now, Jamie George, you look at the evolution of Saracens. They're play, they've played a lot more rugby over the last two years from what we've known them to be, from a kicking team that was successful. Uh, and the game's moved on, right? So you have to be able to play in different ways. Big said it earlier. Plan A, plan B, you know, sometimes plan C. And England will revert to type at times, as will every team. There'll be moments in games where you just see the box kicking, trying to get an error. But that can't be your go-to, in my opinion, for the whole of the 80 minutes, which it seemed to have been a lot of the World Cup. Um, and so, you know, it's like anything. Big has played in teams. You've played in teams, Jim. I've played in teams where you want to be enjoying what you're doing as much as trying to win a game. So, you know, there's certain pressures that come with getting results, but also... You spend a lot of time in the week building a team, building a performance, building a, a game plan around enjoyment just as much as trying to win a game. And I think that's where I'm desperately hoping Steve can evolve. Uh, the noise is coming out of Campar that that is the evolution. Without going away from his DNA 100%, you, know, you keep some of that in there without a shadow of a doubt. But why are you picking all these exciting players if you're not going to let them play in a way that they have shone for their clubs and play to their strengths, which... Uh, ultimately, is is what every hope is for an England fan to see. Yeah. What England team would you fear, Biggs? Was it a power Manu Tuolangi coming down the channel and that kind of high tempo or, you know, Ben Young's quick tap, Danny Kerr quick tap, or would it be the box kick? Which one did you fear as a 10 playing for Wales? I, I, th I think we, we probably struggled more against England when when sort of your likes of your, your Billy and people like that were in absolutely, Manu and boys like that were absolutely dominating us physically. Um, I, England's mall was brilliant. We always, always, against South Africa for obvious reasons, but England as well, we never, ever kicked the ball off the park because we didn't want to give them opportunities at set piece. Um, so I, th I think from, 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 from the teams I've faced, I definitely say that we struggle against the power game a bit more when your likes of Billy and Manu are in their prime. But I agree with Goody's point 100, 100%. If you've picked seven Northampton Saints players and what are they, five or, five or six Quinns players who are absolutely flying and playing a certain way, then it makes no sense if you pick that amount of players to then go and ex ask them to execute something which is which is not really in their skill set, if that make, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so yeah. I think I think like again, I agree with Goody. Goody's talking real, you know, huge amount of sense here that you you can't just go from zero to a hundred. So England aren't just going to come out and play sevens on Saturday against Italy. But what they have to do is they have to make sure their core strengths, which they've been, which obviously worked to a to a to a real extent at the World Cup, are there with a flash and a flavour of probably what Quinns and Saints have been doing and these exciting young players to go and allow them to sort of go and play. Because I know I know for a fact that that's what is coached at Northampton Saints in terms of these six or seven players that have made the squad are just encouraged to go and play and work on their skills, um, move the ball to space, move the ball, play what they see. So so I hope that that's what, um, that's what they'll, they'll do. But I, but I do I, I fully agree with Goody that there needs to be a balance. It can't just go out. It can't just be go out and play sevens on Saturday and expect to get a result either. Pod 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 pod. Rugby pod.